Next, we're going to remove our three ro rollers, which we got two that are smooth, and then we got one tooth one. And they all, they all take a 14 millimeter bolt. third and last one. Next it's time to slide off this crankshaft uh, gear or pulley and you know this is, this looks like it's gonna come out easy but if yours doesn't just spray some PB blaster around here you know maybe uh, hit it with a rubber mallet just around the sides just to break up the, the corrosion that could be in there and then you just uh, you know just pull on it it should come out just Again, you know, as much as you can, resist the urge of sticking anything behind it, because especially on the crankshaft, this is how the timing is. Uh, your crankshaft uh, time, uh, your crankshaft sensor, you know, knows where it is. If you, these teeth are on here, if you bend those and break those, then you're gonna have a problem. You're gonna have to replace this. Okay, so be patient. There we go. All right. Speaking of not losing stuff, look what I found. Here's the washer. It's probably for your, uh, that's that's for the hydraulic tensioner. And so, there you go, I lost it again. No, oh, there it is. All right, so so yeah, your hydraulic tensioner has two washers. One goes here at the, at the back, and then you get another one here at the top by, by the bolt. Okay, so don't lose it. Okay, next we're gonna remove our water pump, which is held in place by these six bolts around the circumference. But before we do that, we need to disconnect this hose first. Okay, just take this. Clamp off, and give this the old twist, uh, the old twister, knock it loose, and it should come out now. Hopefully, there we go. Okay, now onto the bolts. Word of caution: Use a use a socket that's that's got a thin wall. That's for your quarter inch ratchet, because there's not enough room in there to stick one for the three eighths ratchet, and you might strip the bolt. So use a smaller socket for the for your quarter inch ratchet. Okay, with all the bolts up, we just pull on this, and there it comes. And there's a gasket here. It's a metal gasket for this pump. So. Yep, there we go. Before we go on to start putting our timing belts and stuff on, we need to align the crankshaft and the cam camshaft. And as you remember, we need to. There's a notch here on the crankshaft pulley that we need to align with this mark right here on top of the oil pump. And uh, you know, since we made sure before we put the cylinder heads on, all the valves are closed, we can just turn our crankshaft and line it up. There we go, it's all lined up. Now that we marked that up, that means all the, the pistons are only halfway up and now we can turn our camshaft and we need to line up our marks. As you remember, we need to line up this mark with this notch at the back of the, the timing belt cover and we need to line up this mark with this, with this mark right here. That's that one and here's this one. Okay, next water pump. Make sure you're using a new gasket. Okay, next it's time to torque them down and it's uh, we torque them down to nine foot per pounds. Uh, the way you're supposed to, the pattern is supposed to, according to the book, you're supposed to start from here and go counterclockwise, torquing them down to nine foot per pounds. Then for the second time, you do it again and then you torque them down to nine foot per pounds again, okay? Next, we install this, uh, this coolant hose. Okay, now we're gonna start putting our rollers and tensioner. We're gonna start with this uh, roller right here. And we're gonna torque this down to 30 foot per pounds. 
Next we put in our tensioner and we bolt it down to also 30 flipper pounds. Okay, it's nice. Next it's time to put in our uh, timing belt. What I'd like to do is start at the right side camshaft, put the timing belt on, get my trusty zip tie, get it in here and tighten it, make sure it stays in place. Like that. Then I like to run it across this roller and then around the crankshaft. Make sure this is tight like this and underneath the tensioner. Okay, here's the tricky part of this timing belt job. Um, in order to get all the slack out of here, you're gonna have to turn this back a little bit, this camshaft back a little bit. Well, actually, we're gonna have to turn it back up to here because it's spring loaded, it's gonna snap back as we do it counterclockwise. But don't worry, nothing is gonna hit anything again because if you got the line on your crankshaft lined up, all the pistons are gonna be at uh, halfway up the, the cylinder wall, so nothing is gonna come into contact with anything. So we're just gonna turn this down. And as you saw, it snapped back. Then we're gonna turn this back up and then we're gonna have to just put this in at the right, right time so we can get all the slack out. It's gonna take you a couple of tries probably. But then when you get it, you can just know that uh, you get all the slack out. Then we use the slip tie that we got already up here to tie it down. Not too soon. Too soon again. There we go. Line everything up. That's perfect. Get that in there. And I, you probably can't see it, but everything is lined up. There's no slack here, hardly any slack. And also hardly any slack here. Our timing marks are still in place. So next we're gonna run this around the water pump. And we're gonna put this this uh, this roller here. Okay, this is gonna be harder than it looks, but you just you know put the put this on here and then use this as leverage, you push it, push it down, and then you'll fit it in there, and then you can just start twisting. Don't go at the side, you know, don't go, don't force it too much if the bolt is not turning. As easy as it should, don't force it, you're gonna ruin the, the threads and then we'll have a hard time with that. And this also gets torqued down to 30 foot per pounds. Okay, last but not least, this uh, last roller here. Same, same thing, same kind of uh, technique you used to install that one. You'll need to use to install this one. Just here. Yeah, this is going along a lot easier actually. This also gets torqued down to 30 foot per pounds. Next we cut we cut our zip ties and then we do a test run where we rotate the crankshaft twice and then make sure all our uh, marks line up. Oh yeah, it's a minor detail I almost forgot. Don't forget to pull this pin from your tensioner. This is gonna, when you pull that, it's gonna apply tension to your belt. That's kind of important. There we go. Okay, here's a look at our timing marks. Everything lines up, perfect. Next, we we put in our uh, this timing belt cover and we tighten down all the eleven bolts that hold it in place. Next, we put in our harmonic balancer, paying attention to the to the notch and the key that's on the crankshaft. You gotta line those up. Okay, next we need to torque this down to our crank bolt down to 30, 132 foot per pounds. Um, since I don't have the special tools that holds this in place, I thought I'd give this a try. You know, you put your extensions inside these holes. Then I'm gonna use my pry bar like this to hold it in place. I'm gonna torque, use my torque wrench to torque it down. Yeah. 
Okay, next we put the, our uh, left side timing belt cover. 